Hi, today I'm on the bank of the river Trent, as you can see, which flows in the background there. And today I'll try to catch some fish on very simple and cheap tactics. And that's a float and bread. So I will target chub, bream, and so on. If I'm very lucky, I should be able to catch some roach as well. So yeah, I hope it will be a good one. And I'm really looking forward to it because after months of slinging those lures out for predators, it's something else. So yeah, can't wait to get that float into the water. Let's go, guys. Couple of discs again. Another squeeze here. Some bread. Nice. Just will wait for a split sec. Yeah, now it's ready to go for a good moment to go. So I'm making sure you know that my rig is right in between crumbling bread. Little check just to mend the line. Nothing yet. Should get bite now any sec. My rig is settling beautifully. Little check on that rig. How about that? That was perfect. Good fish, very good fish. We'll make sure I'm I'm not you know what is it? Stays in one place, it's not running. Probably big bream feels like or a chub just swimming in one place it can't be a bubble i can't see it being a bubble just look at that rod it's like it's trying to get rid of that hook guys is that like i don't know what is it it's like too too slow for it to be a chub but i don't know it must be a bream guys just another big river bream nice lunges of that fish we'll be very surprised if that's a chub it's very very slow guys but again water is very cold on the other hand it's not a problem for them chop to be very quick, you know, in that cold water. What is that? I'll make sure that it will not break me. Can't believe what is happening here. What is up with that fish? It's not doing anything like quick at all, guys. It's just very, very slow fish plodding away. You have to make sure that I can land that fish. Just now it's running somewhere. Okay, it's not a bream now, I know. It can't be a bream. It must be... But again, it can't be a bubble. What is up with that fish? A lot of out of battery, I guess. I do not know, guys. I do not know. Now it's like lunging around. I don't know. Unless it's like... Oh, okay. It can be like full hooked bream or something like that. But again... What is wrong with that fish? Come on! Want to see you, Mr. Fish. Like not moving at all. Just, yeah, I got it moving now. Come on, keep on coming, Mr. Fish. Is it like one of them six pound, seven pound bream? Not too sure, guys. I will be very surprised if that's, you know, a chub 
here is my float now it's coming easy can't see the fish yet uh, that is a bubble would you believe it on a bread would you believe it and came off at the end at least we saw it at least we saw it guys <laughs> that is ridiculous <laughs> uh, damn you bubble at least we saw it at least I mean it wasn't a massive fish probably you know uh, eight pounds or so <laughs> still great fun okay let's keep on fishing I guess I can't believe I just lost that damn bubble anyway let's keep on fishing you know uh, obviously the river is full of fish we just might get another one So yeah, I won't change anything, just small little hook baits, 10, 10 mil, you know, uh, bread discs. And yeah, exactly the same tactics, you know, just one little ball of bread goes in. I will wait for a couple of, you know, seconds until I will see it will reach about there and then I will cast right on that ball, you know. Little stop, we'll drag back, we'll mend the line at the same time and we are fishing now, you know. Let's hope there is another fish waiting to be banked. See, it's easy fishing, I can even fish, you know, with one a hand in my pocket. It's so easy fishing. You just control the line a little bit. Still, I did not expect, you know, to, to hook a bubble like at all today. As I say, water's temperature is 7 degrees if that. Not sure was the roach or what. Probably not probably, it's 100%, you know, that it, it was my mistake. When I saw that bubble, I should have slackened up knowing that it will run, you know, but I didn't do that and, you know, it, it just came off at the end. So, but yeah, at least we saw it. It wasn't a big fish, eight pound maybe or so. Right, little piece of bread goes in. We'll wait for a few seconds, you know, just, as I say, just to make sure I'm fishing downstream and my hook bait is falling right and, you know, crumbling away with that bread, with that ball of bread. Okay, time to hook one now. Not yet, no. No, nothing guys, even though I was thinking I will shallow up a little bit and I will get a white quickly, but no. Right at the end there. So it kind of worked. What is that? Feels like a small roach. That's awesome. I mean, not that small for a roach. Oh yeah, that is a roach. Now I, I will take my time just to make sure that I will land that fish. So that's a nice fish, guys, for a roach. It will be, you know, one of them chunky ones. Please don't come off. Is it a netta or... Here it comes, Whew. very nice roach. I'll try to swing here. No, I have to net here actually, that's a nicer fish. Bosh. So yeah, little change like that. I mean, with roach and chub, it's always like that. The only thing that is consistent, that's a change. <laughs> that's a, I don't know. 
probably close to a pound roach, I would say, or so. So, so 400 grams, more or less. Fantastic river fish. Thank you. When it comes to the bait, it could not be any simpler. So, for my hook bait, I'm using, you know, medium sliced bread. And yeah, I'm using them guru punches, you know, just to punch out a pellet of bread, just like that. And I'm using uh, today 10 and 12 millimeter punches, you know, just to make that kind of a bait. Obviously in the water it will, you know, kind of, once the water will hit it, it will expand, you know, and it will be kind of bigger. But when I'm putting it onto my hook, I squeeze it quite well, you know, not like exactly very tight, but just like that, you know, and it works very well. And when it comes to the bait, which I'm putting into the water, just to feed the fish, again, just simple deal. Uh, grind that bread, if you will. And to grind it, I'm use, uh, I used this Ridge Monkey kind of boily crusher. So yeah, consistency is kind of finish, but not super fine, just like that. I hope you can pick it up. So yeah, very, very simple deal. And when I want to feed it, you know, I just squeeze it down into a ball, like that sort of size and chuck it into the water. Very, very simple deal. Uh, one thing I did to the bread, so uh, I used that uh, census atomizer, I guess you call it, uh, which kind of sprays the bait or sprays out like very very fine mist if you will let me show you so yeah this is the deal you pump it and then you kind of squeeze it so all i do you know i just at the start of my fishing i just put some of that mist and again that's just water out of the river so i just put some of that uh, water onto my bread so it would be nice you know and sinking I, I don't want my bread you know just to be floating on the top for a while attracting birds and causing all sorts of problems anyways that's my bait see that Maureen is coming for the bread uh oh bread is gone <laughs> Yeah, now it's actually brighter, much brighter than I start as than when I started, you know, which was I don't know, hour ago or so. Which is not a bad thing. I mean means in the next hour or so the fishing will pick up big time. At least I hope so. Here it is, nice on the another I feel I feel roach guys. I feel roach, yeah. It's banging. It's a roach. Please stay on Mr. Roach. So if I would have landed that bubble, you know, I should get some chub as well at some point. I would have a ride bag, you know. It's fantastic river fish. Just look at that roach. Please stay on, Mr. Roach. That is a banger. Yes, we got that. That is fantastic river fish. Similar sort of size as that one which we had before. Maybe a little bit bigger who came out. Again, probably about 400 gram, like a pound almost roach. Maybe it is a pound, not too sure. Yeah, probably it is. Quality river fish. That's awesome. Okay, let's go into the net for a little bit okay we'll go right on the bread now right in that cloud you know so my hook bait would be falling you know with the cloud with the crumbs and if there is one you know fish like very aggressive feeding right on the ball you know Maybe I will nail that one too. Nothing yet. 
remember my line now. Nothing yet. Still nothing. That was awesome. Right at the end there. Quality fish as well. Feels like a chub, I would say. Oh, yeah. It does not feel brimy, guys. It feels like more chubby or or even a bit. If that's a roach, that's that will be something. We have to take extra, you know, time. Did it went into the snag? If it did, then it means it's a chub. This fish is still on, but it's in the snag or something. Just coming up. What is up with that fish? It's just digging somewhere. You know what? That fish just went through somebody else's uh, rig and float popped up actually. I was thinking, what is up? <laughs> That's only a bream. That's insane. I was thinking, what is up with that fish? Bosh! You know, if if I if I wasn't filming, you know, I would not even like bother uh, showing you that fish because you know it means that I will get covered in bream cream, and you know they are so disgusting, they are so stinky. I don't want you know to burn my clothes after I am dealing with the bream. I mean, these river fish, they are right, but if, if I was fishing in the canal, bream like that would be stinking, as you would not believe. Pretty much, I would definitely have to burn my clothes after handling fish and cut my, or chop off my hands off, you know, just to make sure I am clean. <laughs> yeah. We are piling fish, guys, now, really, really piling fish. Easy fishing, right? Very, very easy. When it comes to my tackle, again, very, very basic. So I have Daiwa Power Mesh Specialist at 15 feet, so four, uh, four meters and 50 centimeters power rod. But again, it's uh, supple enough and refined enough to land them, you know, smaller roach and stuff. And then reel wise, I have 2500 Daiwa Fuego, and on the reel, on the spool, I have braided line of a 0.12 braided line, in my opinion, is very, very important when river fishing. It helps with everything, presentation, striking, and so on. And yeah, then I have my float, right? I have quite fancy float, but again, you don't have to use such a fancy float, you know, and adapt it as well. So basically that's a Creluso rocket slider. And I attach that float using one of them connectors which I made myself. Again, you don't have to go in detail as much, but I like these and, you know, they do work very well for me. Uh, I love these floats because they are very adaptable, you know, I can change the buoyancy, I can change tips, you know, to different colors, which I will have to do at some point when it will get darker, you know. They cast just insanely well. And yeah, then I have attached my braided line to 0.20 uh, fluorocarbon, about meter and a half of that fluorocarbon line. And then I have like three number eight stots shot. One group, then I have one shot number eight again, probably 45 centimeters below that first group. And that first group probably will be about a meter from the float. And then another one, uh, so it's actually moved a little bit around, but yeah, I, I can squeeze them down if I need to. So yeah, my shotting pattern is basically three shots, two shots, and one shot. Uh, and all of them are number eights, Preston Innovation stots. And then business end, right? I have 20 centimeter uh, hook link, which is attached, you know, to that fluorocarbon 
leader loop to loop. And yeah, hook link is 0 0.13 at the moment, but I will go 0 0.15 once I will start catching, you know, or the fishing will get easier. And the hook is Tubertini medium gape, I believe it's called Series 21. Yeah, fine, but quality hook. So yeah, that's my tackle. Let's go fishing. Right, same deal, you know, little ball of bread. If I can get my rig out, those spiky things. Now I'm observing where that ball is or where it's crumbling still and I will cast right into it and will drag back. With alignment and let's see. Nothing yet. A bit slow. Just my first fish. No, no lying. No, no lying. Uh, I had a few before, but still it's... I mean, it's not bad, but it could be better, as always. What? I do, yeah. Just a little one, though. See guys, those bream are coming smaller or going smaller, not big as you would want. <laughs> and the bag. So yeah, it's interesting. Most likely that's an evening bite, you know, last two casts produced a fish each, even though they are bream, skimmer. But anyways, you know, very happy to catch them on the float and still very cold water. Little slick, check, lineman, and yeah, we are fishing. Washed my hand as well, but no, it's not, it's not helping much. Whew. Those bream are stinky guys, just... I wonder why, you know, no one came up with like having a stink bomb of a bream smell. It would be like best seller, I'm certain. Nothing yet. No, it's a good little area to get a bite at. And, and I got one, that was insane. Bigger fish definitely than one before, but it's a breed. Just look, this one is like very, very unhappy. Just digging about and doing something there. Great feeling on that braid, you know, I can feel everything so well. Can't, I can't pull him up, you know, but that was ideal, you know, I was waiting just that, that float went under, you know, and since I have fine braid striking, you know, at 35, 40 meters, you know, it's just like nothing, you just like through the butter, you know, it goes so well. And people, you know, who I shown that braid is better than mono when river fishing, they said they are not coming back, you know, to fishing mono. Nice little slab. Still fighting. Here is my float. This one is really, really feisty. 
using that flow quite well. Here it is, we'll grab my net. Stay on, Mr. Bream. Good few pounds again. Here it is. Brasa Masta. <laughs> just to keep that fish above the net, just if something would go wrong, you know. Yeah, probably, yeah, chunky fish, I would say maybe about a kilo or so, so two and a half pounds, something, not, not sure. But what I do know is that to fight them, you know, live tackle, it's great fun in the flow. Maybe I'll get a row just down there. That was awesome, just bite right down there, like, and it's not a roach. Feels like one of them bre breams, small bream just was right down there. Coming in easy now. Actually, it has some bait, this fish. And actually, no, might be, what is it? Don't know yet, guys. It's like, fights very strange, those fish. Make sure that I have a good angle on them, kind of all of a sudden it decided to kite towards the bank. Probably it is a chublet. Come on, Mr. Chublet. It's doing something stupid. Well, it's doing something very smart from his perspective, but from my perspective, it's annoying. <laughs> what is it? Is it a bream who fought like that? I just do not know. Yeah, it is a bream, would you believe it? And a dive towards my bank. Swinging it's a chublet, but no. Yeah, guys, so they are stacking fish now. Really, really stacking some fish. Here it is, popped out, finally, good bream. Stay on, Mr. Bream. We got him. Can't believe that fish just took probably 50 meters down the river there. That's a proper slab. <laughs> that is chunky one. Probably, you know, as the fish is so chunky with a light tackle I just couldn't that was never coming off just I mean just hooked but very well hooked finally got that hook out yeah that's a yeah that's a probably five pound if not more guys I mean very chunky and white fish. Yeah, it's a five pound bream. If not, I mean, <laughs> oof, on light tackles, that's awesome. Okay, let's go back, Mr. Bream, into the bag. Oof, that's heavy. That is insane. I don't know, guys. I don't want to show you all those fish, but that is just insane. I will start chucking those bream back. I mean, they are all quality fish, you know. So yeah, I will start chucking them one by one back if I can.
and then I will show you those roaches, those are special fish guys. That's a proper slab on the float, that's insane fishing. They are so like difficult those bream to handle, you know. The smaller ones are friendlier. Couple more. Awesome on the float. One more bream, dark one. And now are you ready? Just check out those roach guys. <laughs> that is awesome. I have four big roach. Whew. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed fishing, catching them, you know, bream on the float and those big roach as well. Yeah, if you did like it and if you learned something, consider subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching and see you in the next one.